with me in every outfit I've ever worn. Um, and I think she's uh, she's she's one of those people that used to write the banners at every concert. She's been at more West of concerts than and I she's have. writing dirty ones. Yeah. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> she is growing up. That's the problem. <laughs> um, so just in case you uh, just tuning in, the Cheerios Chowline concerts <laughs> in association with FM 104's Hebel Dublin. Child Appeal is on sale since nine. Uh, Nikki's hosting again this year. It's the 25th anniversary. Come on, Ireland! And uh, the lineup includes The Wanted and The Coronas and Shane Filan. Well, oh, The Coronas, I forgot The Coronas were yeah. there. Yeah, sorry, yeah. That's a great um, kudos for the show. That's yeah. kind of brilliant. Liffy, and a main artist, yes. Liffy for Nikki wants to know, would you ever, would you please ask Nikki whether he'd ever thought of recording an audio book? I'd love to listen to him. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, it's mm. Nicky here. Like Hansel and Gretel, like yeah. Nicky Bernstein. <laughs> well, you, 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 me reading a story? Yeah, or it could just... be you reading a book, yeah. It's your voice. They like your voice. Well, so. the answer to her question is no. no. I've never thought about it, but, no. you know. So, come here. Say never. Uh, Nobby was telling me what did you? that you've been recording. For a <laughs> Do you want to play? No, you, I no. can't say nothing. Five seconds. No. No, no. Nothing. Can nothing. you hum? Nothing. nothing. But you've, you've rec- been recording some new music. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Nobby's heard. I have to, I'm only going on what Nobby told me, and he's heard you played it too. I him. played it for Nobby a while back, actually, during oh, the hit. Remember, you wouldn't have me on to talk about the hit. Um, yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's associated with that granny chat <laughs> station, so we can't, uh, we can't have that. Yeah, it's too yeah, old. Yeah. It's too old. The tears. <laughs> the tears. Um, yeah, no, I met I met Nobby uh, down by the the hotel on one of the, the days, and uh, I was hanging outside with a poster going, "Yeah, Nicky small boss. Can I be on the test? Let me come in and talk to him. Yeah. Uh, no, it, and and it, he says it's very good. And no, it is. Nobby's good. Fussy about music. I'm not getting carried away with it. And then I, it was something that somebody approached me to do. I, I, I kind of feel a bit weird speaking about because releasing a solo album is not somebody something I wanted to do. Let's say, to right. be honest, and I think. You know, unless you were going to get it right. For somebody like me, who, let's be honest about it, wasn't the, the lead singer in Westlife, and people probably, as much as they might know of me, they probably don't know how I sound, which is weird when you're in a boy band for 14 years. Off you go. And, and you've made <laughs> your happy birthday. Um, and you've made, you know, you've, you've made your career out of that. So I suppose when you're in a band, there's lots of, um, there is times when you want it, you know, you, you want to, you know, kind of record more stuff and do more stuff, yeah. um, but you do get caught in a rut in a band like Westlife where you know what sells, you know what works. Shane and Mark were fantastic singers, there's no doubt about it, and uh, everybody's happy. You get into a, a casual kind of a mode, um, and then the, when you know, when I suppose when that ends, the you know, it gets a little bit more challenging, and there's more things you can do. And uh, somebody approached me to co-write a song for a potential uh, movie idea, which myself. Ronan Hardy, man, who wrote Lord of the, all the stuff for Lord of the Dance, and uh, Wayne Hector. Wayne is a songwriter from the UK who wrote World of Her Own, Flying Without Wings. And what and kind we, of stuff is it? Is, it? is it that kind of similar stuff, or is it different? It's it, No, no, it wouldn't be Westlife. It'd be kind of more adult contemporary, but it's not It's not ballad. It's, well, it's a bit of everything, I suppose, but th- at the moment there's four songs recorded, seven co-written, and but... It might, and I have to say this because I might, I might not release it. I want to, you know, there's no pressure. Know there's no to do singing. Yes. No, so, you know, I think you will miss it. You know, you miss those big nights, and I think you know, if 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 you have an opportunity, you have to, you know, look into them, and we have to see. All I'm saying is, I'm really enjoying it, and I've, I've enjoyed the last four months in the studio on my time off more than I've ever enjoyed the studio in my life for 14 years of Westlife. You know, so I suppose that's because. So, you know, I'm actually getting stuck in, you know, better than doing BVs and stuff like that. You know, you feel like you're actually doing a lot more now, you know. So, this is very serious for the Tribal Alarm Club. Yeah, no, well, it's, 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 it's going to say, well, obviously, because Shane's doing this at the moment. Yeah, he's doing great. You want to leave him alone and let him do it, I suppose, as well, don't you? Like, yeah, well, look, I, there's nothing ready. And, and Shane, you know, has already left a year since Westlife ended, which I think was the right thing to do. And, and uh, yeah, for me, it certainly wouldn't be till till next year anyway, yeah. if if it comes at all. It's the best of the strawberry alarm clock this Saturday morning. We've more.